your question is catch the graph of function for 0 degree less than equal to x less than equal to 360 degree that means from 0 to 360 degree we have to make the graph so here what they have given see this y is equal to 3 cos 2x so first we will make the original one what is that y is equal to cos x only cos graph so cos graph is how so the graph is just like this from here it is your first it will come as pi by 2 second is your pi third is your 3 pi by 2 that means 270 degree next comes your 2 pi that is your 360 degree and on y axis this is your x axis here comes your y axis on y axis we know that cos will vary from 1 to minus 1 so here comes 1 and here comes minus 1 now if you draw the graph we know that cos 0 is how much 1 so it will start from here and cos 90 is 0. So it will come and meet here. Cos 180 is minus 1. So it will come and meet here. So it will come and meet here. Next 270 degree again it is 0. So it will go and meet here. And from here at 360 degree again it is 1. 360 degree or 0. So it will go and meet again one. So now if you see the cycle, it is of 360 degree. That means from positive, then it will go to negative. Again, it will go to positive. That means one complete cycle is of 360 degree. 360 degree. So now just we will write here. 3 cos 2x. The second graph we will make y is equal to cos 2x. y is equal to cos 2x. We know that complete cycle is of 360 degree. That is equal to cos 360 degree. Now if you compare you will get what? 2x is equal to 360 degree. So x is equal to we can say 180 degree that means you will get two cycles in 360 degree two cycles so first we will draw this graph how it will be it will be just like this only how see this this is your x axis and this is your y axis, this is your y axis. Here comes your 1, here comes your minus 1. Next is your how much? Same we have to draw. But here they have given x is 180 degree only. So that means just we will draw like this. Here comes your pi by 2, that means 90 degree. Next comes your 180 degree. Next comes your 270 degree. Next comes your 360 degree. So see this. Here what they have told. Original one they have given pi by 2 as the midpoint. As the midpoint. <coughs> now if you see one cycle, it will come at pi. But here, what happened? One cycle will compare, come at 90 degree only. That means, here pi by 4, that is your 45 degree. There it will come and intersect this. Divided by 2. 
So that means it will start from here, it will go here. At 90 degree, it will come at minus 1. So now it will go and meet at minus 1. Next, after 45 degree, that means 135 here. 135. It will again go and meet there, 0. At 80 degree, it will go to 1. See this. Here, 80, 180 degree, it is a negative. But at 180 degree, we have to complete one cycle. That means it will go and meet here. One cycle get complete at 180 degree. Next cycle now it will start. So at 180 plus 45 is 225. So this is your 225. At 225 again it will come and meet. Next at 270 degree it will come to negative side like this 270 plus 45 that means what 315 degree it will come here 315 it will go to 0 and at 360 degree again it will back to 1 so here it will be 1 so this wave is y is equal to cos 2x. Now we will make our y is equal to 3 cos 2x. How it will be? So just we will write that. y is equal to cos 3 cos 2x. Wave will be the same. But what they have done, see this. If you make a bracket, it will be 3 times of this wave. That we will make now. So here it will be just like this. This is your same way. So here comes your 45 degree. Next is your 90. Next is your 135. Next is your 180 degree. Next comes your 225. Next comes your 270. Next comes your 315. And next comes your 360 degree. And this is your x axis. And here comes your y axis. So we have to multiply by 3. So we know that cos will vary from 1 to minus 1 into 3 that means now it should vary from 3 to minus 3 so here comes 1 here comes 2 here comes 3 again at the negative side it is minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 now see this here pi by 4 is 0 and here 1 is there, we have to go up to 3. So same from 3, we have to make from pi by 4. That is 45 degree. Here, 90 degree is minus 1. So up to minus 3, again it will go to 90 degree. So here, at 135, 0. So it will go up to the here. At 180 degree, again it will go to 3. So here it will be your 3. At 225, 0. At 270, minus 3. At 315, again it should be 0. At 360, again it should go to 3. So this is your y is equal to 3 cos 
2x. So like this we have to make it and this is your final graph for your this question.